working with tonight is Haleo by Jose Andres. We are hot and sweaty, but we're fighting through this. Just eat some tapas, because we need them in our belly. We can't wait to go in and see what this restaurant is all about. It was quick. We were seated in no time at all here in Haleo. And this is a look at the restaurant. Pretty nice. It's actually, it looks probably looks bigger on camera than it is. It definitely looks bigger from the outside than it is. There's a second level that they might not be using. So what do you think? I think it's cool looking. Yeah, yeah it's definitely like, wow. They say Haleo means celebration in Spanish. So it's definitely like loud, kind of. It's a boisterous restaurant, yeah. uh, more boisterous. It's not a quiet place. No, with some music going and yeah. yeah. Well, it definitely with Splitsville across the street. That's, yes. that's getting it going too. So we're going to order some drinks and then it's a tapas style menu. Let's start deciding. Yeah, we got lots of tapas to go through. If you want to follow along at home, here is the QR code for Haleo. I don't know what is in the token. I don't know what's in the token. This is the token. It's like a, it's like a Mexican or a Spanish rum and coke. Oh, okay. It has Mexican Coca-Cola on it. Oh. And it has some nutmeg in it and some lime. I get to try it first because I ordered it. Mm. Actually, it has cachata in it. Now I remember. Not rum. Uh, ah. How is it? It's an intriguing taste. I'm interested to see your reaction to it. Okay. That's it over here. I like it. That is an interesting flavor, isn't it? Yeah, it's not, it's not bad, but... It's unlike anything I've ever had. Yeah, it's different. So, it's kind of, I like it. Yeah, it's not... I, I don't know, it's refreshing, but... It's not any particular American flavor. And here are the endives. Stuffed with goat cheese and mandarin orange. No cheese, mandarin, or oranges. It's gonna be tough to hear in here, so we're gonna do our best. But uh, they look delicious. This was supposed to be our vegetable for the evening. It came out first. <laughs> so I'm interested to see. And this one is the Montego salad. Looks good, looks very fresh. Apples? Apples and fennel. Apples and fennel. Looks actually very good. Was not expecting that. Here we are looking at the Super Flauta. This is what I ordered without Brittany's position, permission. Position. Position permission. It looks good. It does. It looks great. It says it's perfect for sharing. Will you share it? I think so. Yeah. Brittany just got fancy dancy. More food. This is like served on a fake looking pillow. It's the chicken croquetas with the bechamel sauce, they said. Oh yeah, that's right up our alley. What do you call this? These are the gambas. I'm oh, sorry, the what? The gambas. The shrimp. The this shrimp. is it. The gambas shrimp. the shrimp? The you gamba. named your shrimp? Gambas, yes. The shrimp that are in the very famous garlic butter. Oh. And they even brought us bread, some bread with it. to sop up the garlic butter. Yummy, yummy. It looks delightful. It smells delicious. And this right here is the carne asada, what we've been waiting for all night. Yes. Let's dig in. Oh, it's gone. She's taken it. She's already taken the carne asada. I have. Every time we come down to this end, we end up at the M&M store now. It is our new sweet treat. Although Brittany has disappeared, she's gone to get the new Everglaze donut. So we'll see how that is. But we're gonna head inside. And because they sell only the cheesecake, 
I hear they sell it around a different time of year in your regular store, but you can get it all year round here. Mission failure, M&M's. Mission failure, Everglazed. Everglazed, glazed closed. No good there. M&M's, no cheesecake. It's like it's very disappointing. What is going on with this world? We know. But we did get key lime and some mint and caramel though. Right. All right, so we finished up dinner at Haleo. Haleo. And overall, I thought it was a pretty good dinner. Like, I thought, I it, thought was it was excellent. a pretty fun experience, um, tapas style. So you order, uh, we ordered like six plates to share, uh -huh. and uh, she kind of spaced them out. It might have been a little slow. It dragged um, a little at the end. It dragged a little at the end. It, it took hit, a long it time. It came out strong and then dragged a little. At the end. Yeah, it took like, we got like three dishes kind of up front and then the last three kind of came out with a lot of like maybe 10, 15 minutes in between each dish. dish. So, um, but That's yeah, right. we, the first thing we had was the undives stuffed with goat cheese and I th there were some mandarin oranges in there and I thought that those were really good. Um, nice, light, fresh um, dish. Definitely and, set the plate for what was to come. Yeah, it, but good flavor. Yeah. Um, then the second dish we had was the manzanas and manchango, which is apples and manchango cheese. And it also had like a fennel salad and some walnuts in it. Mm -hmm. uh, I thought that was pretty good. That was probably my least favorite of all the dishes. Um, but it's, it still was really good. Once uh, I got into it, like the first I wasn't expecting the cheese. Uh -huh. but once I got into the cheese, it, I actually started liking it a little bit more. Yeah. Once I got used to the flavor, it was definitely an interesting flavor to start. But once you settled into it, it worked out. Yeah. So it was, again, it was kind of like light and fresh. Everything was really good. Um, yeah, sometimes like stronger cheese is like, is not my style, but um, I thought it was really good. Mm -hmm. And then? Then the third dish was the, I believe it was the flauta. I think so. Um, which is the- Where Doug went rogue. <laughs> where Doug went rogue. It is a sandwich uh, on, I think the flauta part is like the crunchy bread. Um, and then it had a birico ham on it, which is like aged ham. Uh, it was very much like a prosciutto. Very thin slices and kind of salty like a prosciutto. Um, and then it had like a tomato, like seasoned, seasoned roasted tomatoes on top. And I thought that that was excellent. Um, I thought it was full of flavor. Yeah, full of flavor. The bread was excellent. The it was like crunchy on the outside and really soft. All the soft. flavors went together. Yeah. Everything went together well. It, the it's huge, sweetness. The biggest portion of the night too. Yeah, the sweetness of the sandwich, or the sweetness of the tomatoes kind of balanced out the saltiness of the ham. So it, everything worked really well together. I liked that. And then after that, we had the, oh, the croquettes. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> the sandwich was really good. The croquettes were excellent. Out of this world. Um, they and were. I said at the beginning, let's compare it to Universal's. Oh my I gosh. I was wrong. We should never have there, made that statement. There's no comparison. There, were, there was no comparison. We're talking. Yeah, so the chicken croquettes, there, there's no comparison with Universal Studios there. Universal Studios, we're talking about a festival food that was $5 versus something that was like per, professional chef prepared um, at a restaurant. Mm -hmm. So the chicken croquettes also had like a bechamel sauce in uh, side them as well. So it was the perfect like creaminess from the cheese and the chicken was well seasoned. It was, they were excellent. There were only five of them. That wasn't enough. And, that, and I don't care how not hungry you are. Yeah, like that, we could have had 10 of those. You so. could have eaten chicken croquettes all night. Yeah, um, those were excellent. The next dish was the shrimp 
and the shrimp is served in a garlic butter sauce mm -hmm. and it had a side of the bread again that the sandwich was served on to sop up the garlic butter sauce which was excellent uh the shrimp i thought a lot were, of things you say excellent so. yeah the shrimp were the really shrimp well the, night. <laughs> the shrimp were really well cooked and the the garlic butter sauce was fantastic um yeah, well, I thought the flavor was there on the shrimp. Yeah, it was It was a well-cooked well, well cooked shrimp, everything but after the croquettes, and then what came yeah. after it, uh, it's... I guess it, it wasn't... It turned out to be the... It wasn't super special right. by any means, but it was very well done. Right, the shrimps yeah. were great, and uh, yeah. And then, finally, and then, the last thing, it did take a little while to come out, uh, but we got the carne asada and that was cooked medium which was the chef's recommendation and it came with some um paquillo peppers i think that were like roasted and that was excellent the excellent everything i said is excellent tonight yeah um the carne asada was cooked perfectly it had great flavor um, it melted in your mouth, and then with the pepper, it added a little bit of like sweetness. It wasn't a spicy pepper. Um, yeah, it just added this like adobo uh, or adobe like sweet glazed flavor. It was really good. I think the one thing that was interesting about it, and we said this at dinner, was it was kind of cold. It was lukewarm. It was, yeah. It was lukewarm. I mean, but it was, it was cooked it was a, perfectly. It was a little warm. We don't know how they pulled that off. Yeah, but it was perfect. So it, the flavors were great on it. It was just a terrific dish. We did not save room for dessert. No, <laughs> but we thought we were going to run to Everglades, as you probably saw earlier, and an M and M store, and just kind of fell apart on us. Yeah, at the end. Everglades uh, ended up being so closed. Late. So. And M&M's did not have all the flavors that Doug wanted. But, um, yeah, all in all, a great experience. I would highly recommend Haleo. It was really good. The service was great. Our waitress was very uh, nice and knowledgeable about the menu and gave us some great recommendations, too. So, all in all, a good night. Tomorrow... We're going to get back in some parks. Yeah. We check out day. But it's check out day from Coronado Springs. So. Boo hoo. Boo hoo. We've spent almost a week here and we'll try time to, do to check a, out. We'll try to do a different review of Coronado after this day. And yeah. Show some videos of that and, and give our kind of review after everything. But we're sad to see it go. We're heading to Universal. We're mm -hmm. going to spend some time over there. And, uh, but, uh, we have a little more Disney to go this week. Yeah. So, uh, thanks for liking, subscribing, all that jazz. And I guess we will, for today, we'll see you in the water park <laughs> slash golf course. Yeah, no actual theme park today. Kind of a kooky crazy day, but we had a lot of fun. We did have a lot of fun. So, and we beat. checked off some bucket list things today. So. It's, um, I, you know, one last thing on the golf. I think we'll be going back. Yeah, it was. I, it was not the. It was not the best day because of the, the weather and it was out of their control. Yeah. But my goodness, what a what a great day at the. Course. It was really and fun. The service was phenomenal. Phenomenal. They were very friendly Absolutely. on the golf course. So. Yep. All right. Well, we'll we see you there. Off. Have a good night. Bye. 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 We're talking about what did that bus just do?
Well, make a right-hand turn. It's their bus lane clearing out. Oh, okay. You have to edit this out in the middle. They have the straight and the, to the right. See? I see. Uh, but anyway, 